Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a very fun one, uh, one that's been going on YouTube a ton right now, where I mix all of my foundations together to create this weird mad scientist concoction and then apply it to my face. So I've seen tons of people do this. I've seen Alyssa Ashley do it. I've seen Thetela do it. I've seen uh, Sophia do it. I think she's the one who started this whole mixing trend, but I will definitely be linking their videos down below, give credit where credit is due of where I've seen it. I thought this idea would be fun because I already like to mix my foundations together. Although I do limit it to only two, uh, I still do like mixing. So it was just a nice question of what if I mixed all of them together, what would they look like on my face? There is a total of 14 foundations that I mixed to apply to my face. So it's not huge, like the Taylor of like 200 plus, but this is all of my foundations all together, drugstore and high-end, mixed together, all applied on my face. All of the foundations used in this video will be linked down below as well as any other makeup products I have on my face. It'll all be down below, so check it out if you want to see what I have on my face right now. Before I begin, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my uploads. So if you want to see what 14 foundations look like and apply on the face and how it works throughout the day, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so I legitimately don't know how many foundations I have right now. I have quite a few for someone who does not wear makeup every day. Um, I have a nice mix of drugstore and high-end, so that will give some variety at least. I'm gonna mix all of them in this little ramekin I have because... What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I only have one BB cream, but it's basically like a foundation, so I'm gonna add this in into the mix because it's basically the same thing, why not? So I'm just gonna start putting a bit of each in. Um, I hope for the best, I don't know how well this is going to go, but uh, I'm just going to put a smidgen. Oh my God, I have, I have not even used this foundation. So that looks like, that looks like a turd. Ugh. See, this is the one BB cream I was telling you, but I'm gonna add it in because why not? I do have some past foundations from when I was not cruelty free that I'm just trying to use up. This one is a uh, smidgen dark, so I'm really curious as to what kind of finish this is going to be because I have many finishes. I have some dewy, I have some ultra matte, I have some light coverage, some medium coverage, some high coverage. and that's just going to ruin the entire thing. So this is my unmixed mixture. It looks disgusting. It's not really that runny. It's actually quite thick, which makes me think this is going to be really heavy on my face. But we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna mix it up right now and then I'm gonna apply it right after. Uh, because I'm a bum, I'm gonna take the back of a brush and just swidge them it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and break up the clumps as best as I can. That looks like a really good shade match for me, legitimately. So I have high hopes for this, actually. This doesn't look that bad. It smells like mostly the Wet n Wild foundation, which smells like complete paint. So, and it smells softly of the Milani foundation, which has a very like fresh cucumberish type of scent. Okay, we're gonna move on to priming the face. I'm going to take the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base on one side of my face 
Now, I want to try out this new primer that I got. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner for Invisible Pores and Lines. It even says kills pores right here, which is very dramatic, but we will put that to the test. So one of these is silicone based and the other is water based. So this one is the water based one. I'm just going to be applying it to this half of my face. Nothing too complicated about it. The smoothing refiner using my finger and I'm going to press this into my pores right here. Oh my gosh. Wait, it actually worked. Wow. I didn't think it would actually work. I usually don't put primer all over my face, but I'm just going to do that for the sake of this video. We can get a full, complete understanding. So I have a sponge and a buffing brush. I will test both of these out as I usually do with all of my foundation reviews. Okay, we're gonna start off with that much on my cheek and then I'm going to start blending that out with a brush. Oh wow, oh my god. <laughs> that blended out very, very easily. It's very gel-like, the consistency of the foundation. It is an exact shade match. Do you see that coverage? How little I used and it just like, it smells completely like a mixture of the Milani foundation and the Wet n Wild. That looks really, really good, actually. Like, frighteningly good, and I'm kind of upset that it looks so good. And this is my first time using this sponge as well. I got this new, it's the Japanesque sponge. I'm just gonna start pouncing this on my face. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's such good coverage, even with the sponge. It could also just be the sponge being like phenomenally good. Yo, that just looks so flawless right now. I look like I have barely any texture on my skin. I have barely any pores. I look like a Photoshop newborn baby. That's what my skin looks like. Wow. Oh yeah, the primers made a big difference. The pores on this side of my face, you probably can't see because I have a not that good quality of a camera. Um, the pores on this side of my face are a little bit bigger and more emphasized than this side. Oh my god. Now because I'm an extra ass bitch, I'm going to do a second layer. Just because homegirl wants to know, is this buildable or not? I'm gonna put in a bit much. And because I am breaking out a little bit right now, my skin's freaking out a little bit. This will really help with that. I don't want it to cake up, so I'm going to take the beauty sponge and just really press that into the skin. Oh yeah, girl. Girl's building right on top of itself. Now it's like extreme full coverage. So it's a really nice satin, natural, skin-like finish. I really enjoy that a lot and it is really high coverage. I can definitely tell you that much. A little goes a very long way. It's definitely emphasizing my smile lines on this side of my face and not so much on this side, which I attribute to that primer. So I need to definitely test out that primer more with different foundation combinations. Although this would be every single foundation combination, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my face, powder, concealer, everything on top, and I will come back to let you know how everything went. So this is my face after I've done everything else in my makeup routine, and everything blended really beautifully on top, nothing grabbed or skipped or looked blotchy on my face. It looks very satin matte right now. I set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, which unfortunately, mine just broke recently and I'm really sad and I'm just kind of yeah okay <laughs> that powder gave a really nice natural satin skin like finish to the skin which is what it usually does and that really 
helped smooth the foundation out that much more. I think my skin looks very nourished and plump and hydrated, very, very healthy, and I am really loving how this foundation looks right now. I'm going to take you into natural lighting so I can really show you how it looks like in sunlight rather than these studio lights I have, but so far it looks bomb. I love it right now and I'm going to check back in a couple of hours to tell you how it wears. So this is what it looks like in natural light. I'm on my balcony, so this is what it looks like. It's absolutely freezing, and I came out here in nothing but shorts, so this is what I do. And even in direct sunlight, you can actually see how good it looks. It has been eight hours since I initially put on this foundation. Uh, it's not looking so hot. I have a lot of mascara smudged underneath my eye. I was trying out this other concealer and it just did not go well with waterproof mascara. So uh, don't mind that. That's not to do with the foundation. So the foundation looks really, really, really shiny, really shiny. Um, it looks a little heavy. It's, uh, it's looking a little cakey on the chin. My lipstick did transfer, so let's not, let's not mind that I was eating. It's really breaking apart right in this mouth region and chin region. It looks, it looks real bad. It looks equally shiny on both sides that I applied the primer. It's bunching up right in between my eyebrows. It looks very heavy and cakey there. My forehead is very, very oily as well. It's starting to separate really weirdly right here and I think it's the Milani foundation because that is exactly what that foundation does. It doesn't like to stay together, but it's sunk into my smile lines. It just, it does not look good. This is not something that I would wear again. And I'm terribly sad because initially it looked phenomenal. It looked really, really good on the skin. It looked very flawless, poreless, just overall good. But now it does not. It just doesn't. I would give this one out of 10 stars at this moment in time. This doesn't wear well and I can only imagine why because there's 14 foundations mixed together into one. So like, I don't think you'll be able to tell but like holy cow it is bunching it's grabbing it looks very blotchy on my nose it just does not look very good right now and of course i have <laughs> smudged mascara very hot but you can't see probably here but it's like separating it is legitimately just separating and uh don't know how i feel about that this lipstick is still popping though, like, mmm. It only smudged right here, so disregard that. So my overall thoughts on this foundation is that I definitely would not wear this again. It seems like too big of a hassle for such a disastrous end product. But it was a very fun experience to mix together 14 different foundations. All of the foundations I used will be linked down below, as well as my other videos and other product links. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my uploads. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Bye!